Hey there, folks! My name is Mangus, and I welcome you guys to part 12 of Let's Play Civilization 5 as the Aztecs. So, I said that in this war we will probably declare war, and I wasn't joking. We probably will. Um, we are mobilizing an air force. We are. We have a lot of units. The only thing that I would like a little bit more of would be artillery. But that's gonna come along. I mean, we just gotta set them up to fire, and they'll be good. At least we have the great general. We have pretty much everything we need right now. I'm gonna build a couple more fighters, and that will be that. And uh, we want a host. Uh, let's make uh, Rome hosts. I like Rome. I kind of just swapping the host around. I always like that. What the hell, Attila? Are you... Do I have open borders with Attila? I was not even aware that I had that. <laughs> He's stealing my fucking artifacts. Well, that's gonna happen. That's not gonna happen for very long. Let's just uh, put it that way. Well, our road is uh, nice, but we had to rebuild it several times because fucking Caesar decided he would build his own cities on top of my roads. I guess you really could say that all roads lead to Rome. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm hilarious. Good Blufant, could you please stop playing Civilization while I'm Let's Playing? I should probably set myself as uh, offline when I, whenever I do Let's Plays, so that shit won't happen. Uh, let's just grab an armory and maybe a stock exchange. We don't really want to build cities or build any units from this city as they're not going to be very good. But yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's about time we start attacking Attila now, don't you guys think? He's pretty much conquered half the world already. He's trying yeah. to conquer more. Nope! No open borders. Get your fuck. Oh my god, he has a lot of units right now. If I attack if I declare war on him this very turn, then uh, I will. In fact. Kill a lot of his shits. Maybe I'll maybe I'll just do that. Denounce him and declare war. Well, let's uh, rebase our fighters first. So let's do that. Uh, you always zoom directly out so you can do it fast. Range and intercept. Let's trade with Rome. A lot of our trade routes are most likely going to get pillaged by Attila when the war begins. Now we might actually kind of want to wait a turn before declaring war because we want to put our interceptors up if we don't do that we are going to lose a lot of you know we're gonna lose a lot of shit simply to uh things like uh, bombardments so maybe, maybe it's not such a good idea i was gonna move my infantry over here in preparation for the airlifting getting airports in all of my cities is probably gonna be a very good idea so i can kind of just you know airlift units around once I'm done with the airport, might as well get the research lab. And I don't know why I haven't built a stable yet. I might as well do as well as the circus. Uh, and then I think I'm just probably going to go for, for artillery, truth be told. I could go for bombers as well. I have a lot of oil. So maybe that's not such a bad idea. I don't know. Yeah, I want airports in all of my cities so I can drop units around. Caesar is starting to populate this region, which yeah. is something that I expe expected him to start doing very soon. But yeah, I think it's time to declare war on Attila, guys. Let's just intercept first. Intercept, 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 intercept. So I'd like you to see trying to use your airplanes against me now, dude. So let's denounce him. That will give us a boost with everyone, since he is a big dick. And Wittenberg and Beograd, can I take those away from him? Probably not. Are they close to me? Nope. Not at all. I've lost a lot of cities, actually. Rome has taken them away from me, the fucker. I should use my trade routes to get some of them back. You little asshole. Anyway, the time for war has come. Well... Okay, okay. Your mother sucks too. So I wonder if one general... We should probably have another general here. Because we only... Okay, here we go. He is attacking right now. But I think his army is... Okay, yeah. <laughs> Has been shot down. Shot down. Shot down. Shot down. Shot down. Shot the fuck down. <laughs> that is what I call air power. Or... <laughs> that's what I used to call air power. From the Huns. Alright, so let's start sieging uh, the city. We don't have many promotions on our artillery, which is problematic, so we just want to wait out the worst storm just yet. But we can start airdropping artillery into Amsterdam very soon. Ooh. 
our machine guns are taking some pretty nasty damage. And yeah, we're getting golden culture from these things, which I think is kind of hilarious. Uh, let's just move back with our machine guns. They'll probably get shot down by something. There we go. We can move in with our infantry. Shoot down these guys. Just start pillaging the shit out of his territory. We can get a level 3 tenant, and we should gonna get Claw Switch Legacy. That was a pretty... Oh, I should have gotten that at the start of the turn. So now all of my troops are 25% stronger for 50 turns, which is gonna be pretty fucking nice. <laughs> oh God, how many fucking great... We've shot down so many aircraft right now, it's insane. This is actually fantastic. Alright. Kill these guys. And now we're gonna start taking the city. Attack these guys. We're gonna go on a fucking pillaging spree right here very soon. I'm gonna move in my artillery. Might be a little bit stupid. We'll see. We'll find out very soon. Also, I'm probably gonna go uh, slow movement or <laughs> not quick movement for wars because I like to see the movement of the different units. And you would have passed. What do cavalry upgrade to? I think they upgrade into tanks, don't they? Pretty sure they do. Are oh, you got more aircraft, Attila? I can go. All, I can go all fucking day. I can go all fucking day. There's another great war bomber shot down. Oh my god, that's fucking fantastic. He also has artillery now in uh, Lundinium. I do believe I moved a. Uh, uh, didn't I move? No, I have. Uh, I, I was starting to wonder if I moved a spy into Lundinium, but I did not. We have a caravan. I'm actually gonna send this guy to Kizil. I'm gonna start getting some favor with the uh, different city states. Nice. Let's grab cover for this guy so he won't take so much damage. And uh, this guy is taking. I was like, oh, I can heal him up. But then I realized, no, he's not a, he's not a jaguar. Sadly, had a lot of jaguars. They all died. Let's trade with Ormus as well to get some influence. I know I have a lot of influence with them already, so that might just make me friends with them again. There's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, aircraft over here as well. He's moved a lot of aircrafts. Hey, thanks for the worker, dude. Oh, we have uranium. Lovely. That is really fucking lovely. And yeah, we definitely need a great general over here. So we're gonna airdrop him right here. We have one, and also we should uh, we should airdrop this guy over here. This is why I fucking love airports. Just bam, instant mobility right here. Instant reinforcements. It's so fucking good. And we have a great profit. Isn't that lovely? But yeah, we have uranium. That is a really good thing indeed. So, cover, not something you normally want to get in artillery. But it actually helps a lot now. Because, uh... Oh my god. He has land ships. Here he comes. He has a lot of... Uh, he doesn't have tanks quite yet, and thank God for that. So our fighters have done a lot of work. And they'll continue to do a lot of work, because Artillery... Attila still has a lot of fucking... Uh, still has a lot of uh, ships, or I mean a lot of airplanes, for whatever reason. Alright, let's go up against these guys. Oh god, they, they really fucking hurt. And we have another infantry right here with cover three. Yes, let's just delete this worker. It's just gonna get recaptured by Attila anyway. And this guy is just going on a pillaging spree right here, having some fun. I think I'm just gonna spread my religion over again. And I think I also want another great general to join the battle right here. Also, this this artillery, what is he doing? <laughs> What is he doing? Alright, so in Venice, we can probably start building some more shits. Let's go... Uh, let's go with some... Uh, let's go with some artillery, and... In fact, I think I want some... Uh, I'm building artillery here, though. You know, fuck the research lab, it's war. 
I'm, I actually want some bombers. I want some bombers that are good against units. Having bombers with, like, self-repair and shit is insane. Alright, land ships. So you're gonna try to... Oh, shit. No, why did I place my great general on top of the artillery? That was fucking insanity stupid right there. Why would I do that? <laughs> I am a fucking idiot. Getting... Oh, this machine gun needs to join the fray. Who knows? Maybe I'll build myself a fucking... Uh... I could build myself a, uh, a citadel here. Oh, these land ships are powerful. You know what? Maybe I will build myself a citadel right here. These, why are these land ships so powerful? Holy shit. I'm going to need to get some help from here. My god. Look at these things. Why are they so strong? Holy shit. Okay, so they have... Okay, they have open terrain bonus for whatever reason. Okay, great. We can now grab, get March on these guys so they can heal themselves. My god, they are powerful. I'm gonna attack with some of my fighters right now. I mean, they don't do a lot of damage, but at least it's something. Yeah, I need some more forces over here. These guys can probably resume their pillaging. It's nice. To, I should probably get some faster units over here to pillage, like these cavalry. And I probably just need a lot of artillery, don't I? Alright, any more cities that requires the trade routes? Doesn't appear to be, no? Ormus wants a road. I'm almost tempted to give them a road. Let's just trade with uh, Ravenna instead. Holy fuck, these guys were strong. The land ships, I didn't know they were that powerful. It's not land ship, but then again, it seems like he has a lot of promotions on them. Um, it definitely seems like he has a lot of promotions. He already wants a peace treaty, that's a good sign. Yeah, I think these land ships have been upgraded. Yeah, they have like... Oh, he also has the Class Witch Legacy, yeah. That's why he's so strong. He too has the Class Witch Legacy, and he has... 46 turns left. No, wait, that's mine. Never mind. <laughs> that sounds like, oh, he also has it. No, he doesn't. Uh, he just has the bone. Yes, he magic castle and he has um, shock three on these fuckers, which is why they're so strong. That is why they are so fucking strong. Let's just pillage. All right, let's uh, go back to intercepts. We got to take the city now. Should take it pretty soon. Oh my god, we're gonna... No! Our last Dragors! We cannot lose our last Dragors. That would be really sad. Let's pillage his aluminium. Prevent him from... Uh... Let's prevent him from building uh, rocket artillery. Because he's probably about to get them. Alright. Let's grab, grab a military academy. It would be nice to start building some units here as well. And why did this uh, artillery move? I think I mismoved it last turn. Yeah, we're going to take Kotapek, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. And then we're going to move on to Londinium. Fucking hell, another fighter, another great war bomber was shot down. We're shooting down so many aircraft now. How can he even have aircraft left? Haven't we killed like 15 aircraft about now? And we're getting so much culture from this war. And, and gold. This is what's so amazing about the honor finisher. You basically just sustain yourself via warfare. Which is quite fucking beautiful. Alright. We have another artillery. Uh, maybe we should actually grab accuracy on these guys. I feel like... Getting extra range on log logistics on, on these guys is just too good. As much as I like uh, having barrage, since most of these cities are on hills, I feel like it's probably just better to, to go the other route. Alright, these guys have done a really good job. Let's pull them back. Hey, he has Uluru. Interesting. Alright, so we have another great engineer. Do we have any... Uh, we might. You know what? We're going to go for Pentagon when we get that. Pentagon will be really good. Even though we have a shit ton of gold, we might as well get more, right? This guy is just pillaging. Alright, so I'm gonna grab self-repair, I think. I do enjoy self-repair on aircrafts. 
It just means they'll just keep healing themselves and never accidentally die from intercepting too many times. Which is something that can easily happen if you have a lot of interceptors. Because you don't pay attention to their hit points because they just set the all to intercept. And then suddenly they all just start dying and it's really sad. Well, he's certainly doing some hit and run action here. If, if these guys become tanks, then I'm going to have a big, some big problems. Um, he's, there's so much information about Attila, I can't even read it all. Um, 62 technologies right now. He also goes autocracy, naturally, because he is Attila. Alright. Let's keep pillaging. We can even kill these guys. And we have Barrage Tree. Lovely. Let's move back for now. And we have successfully spread our religion to all of our cities. That's lovely. Uh, maybe we could change the location of these two guys now. Yeah. Move back to someone who is... Uh, ooh, I really want to shoot this guy down. But no, I want to take the city. And this city is successfully taken. Let's just start racing it immediately. There's no great works of art here. So there's really no reason to keep the city alive at all. And we can steal a technology. Well, that's about fucking time. What can we steal? <laughs> Refrigeration! Lovely. Uh, do we want hotels? I think we actually want hotels. And the reason why we want hotels is because uh, Attila has a lot of uh, tourism. And getting a lot of hotels is going to counter his tourism. So let's get hotels in every single city. I mean, we're not getting uh, ideology pressure. And thank God for that, because we have the same ideology. But it also makes Attila get a lot more influence with us, which is scary. Let's start pillaging his uh, silver. I'm just going to wait around here with my great engineer until we can start building the Pentagon, which will be in six turns. Would you be interested yeah, in trade sure. Agreement with let's, England? let's work together. Maybe get some research agreements going. I mean, I haven't had a lot of research. I, I think I've had like one. <laughs> Not a lot of research agreements uh, happening. All right, we lost an infantry. Oh my god, we're, we're shooting down two more Hunic Bombers. <laughs> Thank you, fighters. You're doing an amazing job. We're shooting down so many Bombers. We have a lot of money now. Should we bribe the City States? Should we bribe Beograd? We can't right now because they're at war with us. Genoa, maybe? You know, we could use some happiness. Should we dump 3,000 gold on this city? I think we will. Are you kidding me right now? 46 more influence. We dumped 3,000 gold on them and it was... <laughs> That's lovely. Um, international games, not really. I don't want that. Because I, I don't have time for international games right now and I, I, can't, I can't risk Attila winning that. That would be really bad. Alright, so let's move on to Londinium. Um, let's grab, just march on these guys because they will take some damage. Unless we gotta protect our, uh, we gotta protect our artillery. It's super important. This guy is having a field day right here. Oh no, these are mine now. I, I can't pillage them anymore. No, let's pillage his horses just because Attila likes horses. So what we're we gonna do now? We could go cities, but I think I'm gonna go against land units. I'm gonna make these guys really good at land units. Um, just gonna grab bombardment one, bombardment three. I think that's probably decent. These bombers will be really fucking good at what they're doing now. Like so. This guy now has cover two. It's the pillaging guy. He's been doing pretty fucking great. Right, you can heal up. And you can pillage that coal mine. Let's fuck up his land ships. Don't they? No, they cost oil, Would not coal. In a trade nope. I would be interested in a research agreement, but it looks, doesn't look like I have the economy for that right now. I need to kill some units. <laughs> so I, get, I just killed a lot of units there and... Uh, oh, I lost my artillery. I should have protected that better. Yeah, when he has land ships, I can't leave my artillery out, open, out in the open like that. I need to shield them with infantry. It's pretty fucking important that I do that. So I'm gonna move my infantry up like this. And this artillery should be safe if I move my other infantry up here. I 
We gotta move in uh, artillery up here, and this guy can go and uh, kill Rome's anti-aircraft gun. Why not? Right, we have more artillery right here. I wonder if I built this artillery in my capital, if I would have had, uh, if I would have had um, free uh, logistics immediately. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, these land ships all need to die. Like, right now. Which is why I built these bombers, so I can do this shit. 48 damage. Wow, that is that is decent. That is very decent. Fighters are good at fighting, too. Like, they're good at de killing units, although you want to mostly keep them on intercepts. Let's do an air sweep. No resistance. Yeah, it doesn't have any more resistance. Let's kill this uh, this one as well. Air repair. Always grab air repair. It's one of the best ones. And we're going to leave one fighter on intercepts. We're building hotels in all of our cities, but that's actually a good idea. We're generating some tourism. We have 81. Okay. So, oh my god. was bombarded by enemy bomber, enemy bomber, enemy bomber, enemy bomber. The moment I decide to use my fighters for offense, he's bomber strike, naturally, of course. Um, we're going to rectify that. By going back to intercepts. Grab air repair. Well, that sucked. Um... Yeah, let's kill this guy. Pillage some more shits. We can start sieging all of these cities right now. If we had logistics, we could siege even more. Why is the music so sad? I'm just killing people. Why are you making me feel so bad, civilization, huh? Killing Attila, he's, he's a bad guy. Alright, let's move in and kill some bananas. Everyone loves some fucking bananas. I love pillaging behind enemy lines. It's one of the sweet parts about the war in civilization. Just sending one unit in and being a complete dick to a player's economy. It feels so fucking good, too. Well, Attila, are you done? What happened to your fucking bombers? Well, I know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Vermin are breeding. Shut up. Ah, ha -ha. Shut down, shut down. Goodbye, bombers. Hello, fighters. Yeah, he's having a pretty bad time with his bombers right now. He didn't expect anti-air of this force. Oh my god, we're, we're nearly generating a thousand science, guys. And we're gonna pop the scientist, I think. We're going for computers. I think we're gonna go for... Maybe we, we should just go for lasers. Get jet fighters. That would be hilarious, actually. Jet fighters are amazing. We can reliably get there as well. I mean, if we get Pentagon, it's going to be cheap as fuck. So, why not do that? Just go an army of fucking jet fighters. You know, I think I'll do that. That sounds very fun. God, these cities have so much defense. It's going to take for fucking ever to kill them. I have time, though. Right, not lose the Jaguar. We'll send, send the Jaguar back. Oh my god, is that a great general? Two great generals? Oh my god, where is my uh, where's my fast units when I need them? That is a pickup right there. That is an epic pickup. If I can kill two great generals, that will fuck Attila over majorly. I've already fucked him up pretty good, though. His military isn't really that strong anymore. I've killed so many units. He had a lot of land ships. I'm really grateful I got to him before... Uh, before uh, he uh, promoted them into tanks, that could go very badly if, if that happened. Did I lose my Jaguar? I lost my Jaguar. Rip Jaguar. The last Jaguar. Gone. Sorry, guys. I tried my best. Actually, I didn't. Try. I played pretty sloppily this entire war, to be quite honest. Hey, Pentagon! Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this episode is now over. Uh, join us next time as we continue the war against Attila. It's going to take some time to bring his empire down because it's massive. So we'll see how it goes. Um. Please consider leaving a like and a comment if you enjoyed this part. It does really help out the channel a lot. And as always, my name has been Manx, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.